everything's going really well. I had a little break after the end of qualifying, just had a week off just to relax and everything because the qualifying was pretty stressful. So I had a week off and then got into really hard training, so it's been going really well. I was playing a tournament in Brazil because I'd been travelling all over the place to try and like gather qualifying points. And um, I just was playing a match and just like I felt like a kind of sharp pain in my knee and uh, woke up the next day and it was really swollen and uh, got home and kind of it all happened pretty, pretty quickly. I got an MRI scan, then saw Gordon Mackay, then a, like, a knee specialist and then got operated on all within the space of like five or six days. So it all happened really quickly. I got operated on on the 5th of October and he didn't think I'd be back on court till maybe March. But um, I played my first tournament on the 2nd of January, just the support I got with my rehab, like my physio and all like the strength and conditioning support. And you know, it had everything like nutrition, psychology, like all the guys like bent over backwards to help me. We were able to give her access to um, specialist care. We were able to give her daily monitoring, daily interventions. Um, if anything changed, we knew within a few hours if anything changed so we could react there and then which is a, a, a service that not many other sort of um, areas of medical care out with the, the Sports College Institute of Sport can offer. So we were on the button as they say all the time, fingers on the pulse, making sure that there was no negative reactions. From my perspective it was the training was it had to be non-weight bearing so we used um, things like aqua jogging in the pool, um, bike work and cross training, so which are traditional elements, however um, we had to sort of think outside the box a wee bit and start looking at um, things that were more sports specific for her, for her competition. So like for example, we, when we were in the pool, she wasn't just doing aqua jogging, she was doing circuit based work which was all over body conditioning instead of just doing aqua jogging which is very sort of traditional. You know, sometimes I feel like, what's the point working so hard, I'm never going to be able to get back. I think like they really helped me just kind of push on the days when I maybe wasn't as up for it as others. So yeah, like I'm so lucky that I had that because I couldn't have come back as quickly without them. I think Susan did all the work. Uh, we have to pay tribute to her, she worked exceptionally hard. I think we just showed her the path. I think it's quite an unconventional injury, so most people wouldn't know exactly what to do. So we used our expertise to show her the pathway back to fitness. I know Susan has always dreamed of being in the Olympics, um, and she's achieved that. And now she gets to go there and show the world exactly what she can do on the biggest stage possible. It's really hard to imagine because I've been to a Commonwealth Games, like you know, I've been to Commonwealth Games before, but I think it's, the Olympics is just on a different scale. So, um, and it's also nice to be in part of a British team because in badminton uh, it's all Scotland teams apart from the Olympics. So, like it's such a big achievement, kind of being like British number one. So yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to just see what it's like and see like all the famous people in the village. And yeah, it'll be brilliant. I can't wait for it to start.